Therefore, 20% is equal to 1 fifth. Hello guys! Welcome back to my channel. Kung hindi ka pa nakasubscribe, ano pa hinihintay mo? Subscribe na! And don't forget to like, share, and comment. This time, we will study how to express percent as a ratio, as a decimal, and as a fraction. But before that, let us know what is meant by percent. Ang sabi dito, percent is the ratio that compares a number to 100. And it comes from the Latin term percentum which means per hundred. We have here an example. Express 20% as a ratio, as a fraction, and as a decimal. 20%. If we will remove the sign of percent, this will be equal to 20 over 100. 100 here means percent. Ayan. Kung makikita nyo, pwede natin cancelin ang tigisang zero para lumiit ang numero. O, this is now equal to 2 over 10. O, ngayon, express 2 over 10 in its lowest term. 2 and 10 is divisible by 2 at the same time. So, divide the numerator by 2 and also the denominator by 2. O, this is now equal to 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1 and 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. Therefore, 20% is equal to 1 fifth. We will express this as a ratio. 20% is equal to 1 fifth as a ratio. 20% is equal to 1 is to 5. And as a fraction, 20% is equal to 1 over 5. Now, how to change 20% to decimal? O kanina, sabi natin, 20% yan, 20% is equal to 20 over 100. O i-express natin siya ngayon sa decimal. Again, cancel natin ang 0 sa itaas at 0 sa ibaba. 20 over 100 becomes 2 over 10. Or, this is read as 2 tenths and this will be equal to 0.2. O, napag-aralan na natin na ang place value na to ay tenths. A digit after the decimal point is tenths. And this is read as 2 tenths. 20% when expressed as a decimal is equal to 0.2 Alright, I hope that how to express percent as a ratio, fraction, and decimal is clear. Hanggang dito lang po muna tayo. Maraming maraming salamat. Thanks for watching. Again, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment.